So y'all remember the other day, um, I had just went to Philly and I was telling y'all about like how what mindset it put me in, um, and how I felt when I'm with the Chinatown, and how how it feels to just be prideful of, you know what I'm saying, being able to go to a place that literally feels like home, like it, it's, it's yours and it belongs to your community. Uh, today I pulled up to a spot that I like to come to called Around the Clock Chicken and Fish. It's, um, I, uh, hold on. Yeah, I suck with these addresses. I don't see nowhere where I can tell you the address. I'm going to put it in the um, caption. But anyway, I'm telling you all this to say, man, I come in here and it's a whole vibe, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm real cool with the owner, real great person, man, real great dude. I'm gonna tell you a quick story real quick. Um, like, it was a period where I wasn't um, driving or whatever, and I was like catching the lip back and forth to do everything, you know what I'm saying? So I was taking Zoe to school, and I was catching lips sometimes, and sometimes I would walk like a long ass way or whatever. But anyway, it was a nice ass day outside one of these days and I was walking. I was walking for a smooth like probably like two hours, whatever. So I'm walking, I'm walking, and then like I get down there on Central Avenue and it's this car that pull over on the shoulder. Roll a window down, it's the owner. <laughs> the dude that work here, man, it's my man. He was like, man, let me let me uh take you, let me take you. I was like, I'm good, man. I was about to go down the street, get something to eat at Mitchellville Plaza and everything. He was like, man, I'm not going to let you walk. He was like, it's my responsibility to make sure I get you the way you need to go. I was like, bet. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, you know what I'm saying? I ended up coming back to his shop and getting something to eat since he wanted to give me a ride. I wanted to support him. Like, like it, that type of stuff, man, it, that makes me feel like I'm in my community. You know what I mean? It, that makes me want to come here, you know what I mean? That makes me want to be here, like the vibe. You know how like when y'all go to the barber shops or when y'all go to the hair salon, it just feel like it, it, it belongs to you, you know what I'm saying? Especially when it's a, 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 a salon or whatever it is in your community, ran right by people that look like you, and you could be proud of that, you know what I'm saying? And y'all just have a, a chemistry, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing that you shouldn't be proud of. But um, I come in here, you know what I'm saying? We have a discussion, we have a good conversation. I get my food. It's another dude in here. He came in here real quick. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, he had a story with the same dude, and um, I'm actually, I, I guess I'm gonna take this opportunity, opportunity to tell you. I um, have another magazine that's about to come out uh, on the 11th, and um, I'm gonna be published, published again. My photos are gonna be in it. Um, it's gonna be, uh, I think it's, uh, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put that in the uh, description too. I'm gonna put the link to it. Or if y'all ask about me, ask about it, I send it to y'all. Anyway. I had um, two copies of the magazine, and um, I ended up giving a copy away just because I'm in a good mood, man. Anyway, all that, and I get to enjoy this good food. So what I got this morning, after that 45 minutes of talking about not food, <laughs> um, I got um, fried fish and I got a waffle. And um, I'm gonna bring y'all to the situation. And then right under it is the waffle. Let's flip this. Right under it is the waffle. So, you could uh, meet me at the mall. It's about to go down. Um, crispy fish. So, one of my favorite meals, like hands down, is damn near anything with grits. In case you want to know anything about me. I love lamb and grits, shrimp and grits, fish and grits, chicken and grits, bacon and grits, eggs and grits, egg and grits. I like everything with grits. Uh, cheese grits, per se. I hate people that say per se. Uh, I'm going to use this knife. Actually, no, I'm going to go hard because be, I've been taking too long to get to the business. All right, so I got five fish and a waffle for breakfast this morning. And we're about to rock, it out, uh, rock out. Remember, I'm at around the clock checking that fish. This that thick ass maple syrup. This that this the shit that they was making on um, that B movie with uh with my man uh what's his name? Jerry was uh the voice of that little bug and shit. That little bee, that's this thick ass maple situation.
I'm eating like a savage today. So, I'm gonna go at this waffle first. And then like, what I like about this place too, is when you, you know what I'm saying, when you wanna go somewhere for some breakfast before you go to work, this is a good spot to come to. A good mom and pop joint. I got so many stories. Hey, what's going on, bro? I got another one, but I'm gonna say it next time. The waffle is soft and it's moist. The syrup is good. It's not dry. This is what I want to go through in the morning for breakfast. This is a good situation for my waffle lovers. Okay, now I'm about to go with the fish. You see, it's a special, you heard it? Here we go. The fish. The key to fish is the seasoning. It's simple. Mm. And then low key. It's almost like a lemon flavor in there. A real small hint of lemon. Seasoned real good. It's not salty. And it doesn't just like taste like salt. It actually has flavor. Mm. And it's crunchy. Mm. I love shit that's crunchy. Mm. Okay. That was good fish by itself. I'm gonna try it with the, with the mambo sauce. I don't like the mambo sauce. I like the fish by itself. Forget I mentioned the mambo sauce. Huh? Mambo sauce? No, I said it. hot sauce. That's what I said. I said hot sauce. But it's bomb because the fish is good by itself. So shout out to that. Okay. Around the clock, chicken and fish out. One love.